Hi Aquarius, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing a reading from the 9th to the 15th of August. Now this is gonna be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Aquarius. So Aquarius, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so Aquarius, your challenge for this week is the Ace of Wands. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the King of Wands in reverse. Okay. All right, so your challenge, Aquarius, has a lot to do with a brand new beginning, new adventure that's happening for you. Uh, we're going to clarify this and see what this means for you in a moment. Now, in the recent past, you have the strength of the Five of Cups and the Seven of Cups. I definitely feel like in the past, you had a lot of choices here. There could have been one specific situation that you were emotionally attached to that failed. There was a failure here in the past. But what this failure did, Aquarius, was it actually started to build your strength in the past. You started to become stronger. You started to recognize, wow, like I actually have the power. I have the energy to become a lot stronger from this situation. So even though it was emotionally draining for you in the past to have gone to have had gone through this it actually built your character is what i'm seeing here in the past we're going to find out more when i clarify now in the present moment you have the hermit the six of wands and you have the page of swords i'm really strongly getting here with the page of swords that a lot of you are doing research okay you could be researching on some sort of endeavor some sort of uh, opportunity that you want to do i have the six of wands here as well too and this could be something that leads to a lot of success for you in the present moment i'm also seeing a lot of inner uh meditation that's happening for you you're trying to find your path what is good for you what makes you shine what's going to make you happy here so we're going to find out more about this when we clarify in a moment in the near future you have the wheel of fortune the seven of pentacles and the eight of pentacles i see an opportunity that's coming into your life and i'm also seeing with the wheel of fortune here that this is part of your destiny destiny. This may involve uh, Aquarius, you investing, you may invest something here uh, from your own personal uh, money, it could be money that you're investing here, it could be time energy, there's something here that you're investing into, because you actually believe that it's going to bring about some sort of opportunity for you with the eight of pentacles. So we're going to find out what this opportunity is for you in the near future when we clarify. Now, what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Wands in reverse. We have the Eight of Wands in reverse, the Four of Pentacles in reverse, the Emperor in reverse, the Seven of Swords in reverse, and we have the Two of Pentacles in reverse. There was some sort of decision that was made by you because somebody here uh, try to get away with something or you may have tried to get away with something here there was a lot of instability here and you decided to let go of maybe a fire sign leo sagittarius aries capricorn virgo taurus i'm also getting that this person stopped working with you they stopped communicating some of you blocked a fire sign leo sagittarius aries you decided aquarius i'm not dealing with people like this i don't need to deal with people that disrespect me i don't need to deal with people that um, don't want to contribute to my stability, don't want to contribute to creating some sort of foundation with me. So a lot of you disengaged from specific individuals, specific people, maybe um, a person that you, you, you may have saw yourself being in a relationship with, you disconnected from them because they couldn't give you the stability, the trust, and the communication that you needed. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing here. So let's get into your reading and uh, let's clarify. So the first card I'm going to clarify for you is the Ace of Wands.
Okay, so the Ace of Wands is clarified by the Ten of the Ten of Wands, the Five of Swords, and the Four of Pentacles. Very interesting, okay? Your challenge has a lot to do with uh, a new beginning that's going to happen for you after you completely close out a cycle here. A lot of you are standing up for yourself, okay? I'm also seeing that a lot of you are holding on to something. Your challenge has a lot to do with recognizing, Aquarius, what is it that you need to completely release? What is it that you need to re release? How are you approaching situations? Are you approaching situations from a logical standpoint or are you approaching situations from a competitive, uh, aggressive type of way? Because there's something here about, you know, making your life a lot harder than it needs to be by holding on to something. There's something here about you needing to hold on to this, this energy of I need to constantly defend myself. I need to constantly stand up. No, you don't need to do that. Because whatever is meant for you is going to come into your life. And what I'm seeing part of your challenge is a lot of you are going to have a new beginning that's coming in and you don't have to do anything. All you need to be is open to it. Now, like I said before, you have the sun in your seventh house, which is a beautiful transit that's happening. I love transits, by the way. I study transits in astrology. So one of the things that you need to keep in mind is, is that a lot of you are going to have a new opportunity, uh, especially if you're single. If you're somebody who's single, I see a new person coming into your life. But you may be tempted, and this is part of your challenge, okay? Part of your challenge. You may be tempted to get into this mode that you do, right? Where I have to be competitive. I have to stand up for myself. I have to do this. I have to do that. I have to put in X amount of work. You don't have to do anything. Because when the sun is in your seventh house, everything that you need is going to come from everybody else. A new beginning, a new adventure, a new opportunity. You don't have to fight for it anymore. You don't have to hold on to this energy of feeling like you always need to be in control because what is meant for you is just going to happen for you. And I feel like that has a lot to do with a new beginning that's coming into your life this week. Okay, so this is part of your challenge here. Let's talk about the recent past. Let's clarify the five of cups in the recent past. So the Five of Cups is clarified by the King of Swords. You have the Magician and you have the Six of Pentacles. So I'm really strongly getting here in the recent past, a lot of you gave to a specific person. You manifested this person. You manifested this connection. Someone here betrayed you in the past and you couldn't even believe that you allowed this situation to happen to you. This is why your challenge right now is this energy of, oh, I need to stand up for myself. I have to constantly be on guard. I have to hold on to, you know, this idea of defending myself all the time. It's because you had a bad experience in the past. But you also need to recognize here, Aquarius, that in the past you had a lot of choices. You had a lot of decisions. Some of you chose one person over someone else in the past that you thought could contribute a lot better to your life. Tell me more about the Seven of Cups. So the Seven of Cups is clarified by the King of Wands, the Page of Swords, and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, a lot of you felt like you always needed to watch someone here. Somebody, Some of you were dealing with a fire sign here in the past, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and you thought this person was cheating or lying on you, and you were constantly looking to see if you could catch this person in a lie. Some of you did. Some of you actually caught this person in a lie. Okay, so this change, this in the past that happened to you changed your whole entire perspective on what you believed to be love in the past. Now, in the present moment, you are going within. You're doing a lot of inner work. You're doing a lot of... Um, you know, just inner work is what I'm seeing here. So let's clarify the Hermit. So the Hermit is clarified by the Seven of Cups, the Page of uh, Pentacles, and the Two of Cups. A lot of you have a specific um, connection to a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Could be an Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. This is somebody that you often think about. And you're watching this person. You're watching this person. You want to see if this is somebody that you see yourself being with. Now, for others of you, this person does think about you a lot, is what I'm getting here. And they think about having a connection or commitment to you. There's something here about you needing to do research in the present moment maybe research about this person that is very much on your mind so as a result of that you're going within and you're doing a lot of inner work to find the truth about this person that you have very strong feelings about tell me more about the page of swords 
Page of Swords is clarified by the Knight of Swords, the Nine of Wands, and the King of Cups. Some of you are dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You want more information on this person. Some of you want to give somebody here a second chance in the present moment and you are very uh, driven to move towards this person very quickly, but at the same time you need to do research. In order for you to be successful with any of these energies that are presenting that are presenting themselves to you in the present moment, there's a need for you to do research, not just to rush into something, okay? Because a lot of the times you're quick to rush into something based on your emotions. And because you did that in the past and it failed, a lot of you are like, nope, I'm not doing that again. I'm not doing that again. I'm going to do my research, even though you're propelled to do it, right? You're like, yeah, I want it. I want it. I want it. Not a good idea. Okay. So you have to do your research is what it's saying. Now, if you go about doing your research and really going within uh, Aquarius and really thinking about where you see this situation going, there could be success here for you. For a lot of you, a lot of you may be achieving some sort of success within a connection or a commitment in the present moment. Tell me more about the Six of Wands for Aquarius. Some of you are going to reconcile with someone after leaving, okay? You may decide to have a new beginning or move into a new direction with uh, a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I'm getting Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Could be any sign. Okay, so let's talk about the near future. Now, in the near future, it looks like you're going to be working something out here with someone. I see you maybe coming back together with someone that is part of your destiny. We're going to find out what the Wheel of Fortune is bringing to you, a beautiful change that is part of your fate. We're going to find out what that is in a moment. But first, I'm going to clarify the Seven of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Seven of Pentacles. So the Seven of Pentacles is clarified by the Hierophant, the Star, and the Three of Wands. Looks like in the near future, there's going to be an opportunity to invest into a commitment or a connection. You've been waiting for this for quite some time, and it looks like it's finally going to happen for you. For some of you, this is you working things out with a specific person that you are already connected to. Tell me more about the Wheel of Fortune for Aquarius in the near future. Okay, so the Wheel of Fortune is clarified by the Two of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, and the Five of Pentacles. There's a decision that you need to make in the near future about a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Whatever you decide, you need to do the research because in the near future, this decision could make or break you. It could either lead you into a, a, a direction of pure growth and um, fate and destiny or it could lead you to the complete opposite okay poverty um a loss of investment you have to be very careful in terms of the decision that you make some of you are going to be investing into a commitment or a connection but if you have somebody here i'm just going to put this out there it's not going to be for everyone some of you need to hear this it's a very important message you may be dealing with somebody who is a player who's very in and out of your life and you may decide no i don't want this person in my life so you need to make a decision based on somebody's uh, attitude and the way in which this person is approaching you. Because even though you may believe they're part of your faith and destiny and you choose to be with them or you choose to work things out with them, you need to also look at uh, the way that this can go. It could go in, in, in either way. It could either work out or, or it could fail. But you have to look at someone's character. Don't just look at the fact that this person looks good and they're, ooh, yeah, ooh, they look good, ooh. Look at their character. Look at their character. Don't just look at someone's image. Look at their character. Who are they? Who are they? What do they bring? Do they have knowledge? Do they have wisdom? Do they have something to offer you? Okay. So you're going to be determining if this opportunity, Eight of Pentacles, is worth taking on or not. So very nice reading. I'm going to get some advice for you, Aquarius. What is the advice here for Aquarius? Okay, so the advice for you is the world, the three of wands and the five of swords. Put an end to always waiting. Stop, you're not, stop waiting. <laughs> stop waiting, just go for it. There's something here that you need to go for. Uh, recognize what has actually closed out in your life. Recognize what is no longer worth your time and energy. Uh, there's something here about really uh, stop waiting for somebody to come to you and prove things to you or stop waiting for someone to come to you in order for you to prove things to them. There's something here about you needing to take action. 
Okay, whether that's doing the research, whether that's going within, meditating, working on yourself, there's something here about putting an end to waiting because now is the time to really move forward. Okay, so what follows the five of swords is the six of swords, moving away from conflict, moving away with, you know, from things that do not serve you and moving towards what is actually going to be a part of the new chapter in your life. That's part of your challenge. Okay, so Aquarius, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you on the next one.